John Tammy is the editor of RealClearMarkets.com and a contributor to Forbes magazine. And I asked what he expects to see from this round of trade talks. I think China's hand is actually pretty strong, and that's why I think there's going to be progress. It cannot be forgotten that President Trump has based his re-election, and realistically his presidency, on a booming economy. Well, the simple truth is you cannot have a booming economy in the United States if trade with China is not regular. And the basis for that is simple. What's our most valuable company? It's Apple. That's the, Apple gets a, third, gets a quarter of its sales in China. Nike gets, that's China, China is Nike's second market. Uh, Starbucks has 3,400 stores in China on the way to 7,000. Boeing sells a quarter of its planes there. S Facebook gets 10% of its ad sales from Chinese buyers. If China's economy is hurting, so is the U.S.'s. So it's essential that we get back onto a regular trade path. What are the chances that the final deal will come to down to President Trump meeting with President Xi? I mean, is this kind of the finalization of what they've been talking about? <laughs> we heard a lot of positive outcomes from that meeting in Washington here about a week and a half ago. Well, in a sense, I hope it's not because I don't think trade policy is President Trump's area of expertise. In this case, I would rather the experts kind of take, take it from, say, this is the deal that you want. This is the deal that's going to ensure you a better economy, a better election. I worry that Trump could actually muddy the situation, though I, I think it's, it's recognizable that we probably are headed toward um, basically a meeting between the two heads. Speaking of a meeting, there's been a lot of talk about when that meeting could take place. There was this March 1st deadline, but uh, the U.S. president indicated just 24 hours ago that he'd be open to extending that deadline. What would lead to that, and why would they need to extend that? What would we see there? Well, oh, my sense is that this would be a way for Trump to buy time to essentially sell what is not what he had promised. The simple truth is for Donald Trump and, and his administration to put major tariffs on China would be for him to be putting a bullseye on the U.S. economy and this recovery that he's touted day by day, the low unemployment that he's touted, the, the, the generally healthy stock market. So it buys time. It buys him time because he's got to explain what would in fact be a good thing for the United States but that may anger his base. His base wants to see this trade war with China that would be extraordinarily damaging to the U.S. And it speaks to, again to why I've always felt that China's hand is much more stronger than maybe what some people believe. If they get to this meeting, uh, the U.S. side wants to see this in Mar-a-Lago. The uh, press secretary mentioned that as a possibility. The Chinese side also uh, mentioning Hainan Island with Trump going to the region just two weeks from now to meet with Kim Jong-un. What are the implications of either location? Uh, my favorite location quite literally would be Shanghai. And the reason for that, I think the president needs to see just how remarkable China's economic revival has been. The beautiful, tall buildings, everything, I think would tr thoroughly knock him over in a very good way because it would make him realize that if we make trade normal, if we get government out of the way and let productive people in China and the United States trade to, with one another, the potential for U.S. companies to grow as, as, a, as a country that's on the path to amazing wealth, gets wealthier and wealthier, is going to be a remarkable thing for the United States. For the U.S. to block trade with China, it'd be the equivalent of Gucci basically saying, Beverly Hills, we don't want to sell in that market anymore. Trump needs to see just, just how great the potential is for a better U.S.-China alliance. And yes or no, do you think we'll see a deal happen? It's got to happen. Trump needs it. China, we all, both the two richest countries in the world, trade with each other. They're too reliant on one another economically. That's a beautiful thing. When you're trading, you're not at war. Both sides need it. Hopefully we can make this happen. John Tamney, we'll see what happens. Thank yes. you for joining us. Thank you.